Hey guys, this is Brianna with Cracking with Bree, and I wanted to share with y'all some Valentine boxes that I made for the ladies in my life. My last video was a box that I made for my husband that was more on the masculine side, and these are going to be for the ladies in my life. And I made these using my Martha Stewart scoreboard and I cut these boxes out of 8x8 eight eight paper or cardstock, excuse me, and the box dimensions end up being 4x4x2 four by four by and I think they came out really cute and let me uh, describe each in detail and then if you have any questions or comments you can leave them down in the description or I'll leave it in the description box um, a link to my blog and I'll be able to put up all the materials and everything and I used but if you have any questions or comments just go ahead and comment down below and then we can go from there okay so let me start with this box right here and this is a box I just made using just vanilla cardstock and I distressed the edges with Tim Holtz the I believe it was the vintage photo and so I just did all the sides and on the lid I ended up using um, a wavy attachment that goes on my scoreboard it's not my scoreboard excuse me my cutter and so I did all the edges on that and I made a band for it and I distressed that with tea dye ranger distress and then I stamped this image using this uh, stamp set I got from um, Hobby Lobby and I used this image right here it's from the glitz clear stamps the dance in sunshine so I used this stamp set and then I I don't have just a stamp that says love so I used my seven gypsies stamp set and all I did was ink the word love and I stamped that in the center and then I distressed with the inks I used uh, tea dye wild honey vintage photo and then crushed olive and I put that on pop dots and so you just slide the band off and then I distressed the whole box and then it opens and then I'm gonna end up putting candies in here all sorts of little fun sizes and Hershey's kisses and you know all the fun little candies that go with Valentine's Day so this is the first one and then the second one I made um, it's the same size the 4 by 4 by 2 cut from the Martha Stewart scoreboard and this paper has little angels not angels excuse me the little cupid character and I used a bow cut from a digital cut from the Cricut craft room and so on the lid on this one I ended up cutting out with my Fiskars border punch which I think came out really cute I did modify it slightly I don't know if you can see the inside oh there's a glare or not the glare the shadow maybe right there here I had to cut the corners because when you do the punch all the way around your paper it doesn't match so I cut like a quarter inch off of each corner so when I folded it up into itself onto the sides of the box that right here there's none so it wouldn't be a nice finish on the edges and so and then this paper is just some cardstock I had I'm not sure of the brand but this Cupid paper comes from the GCD Studios and I don't know how to pronounce that but it's a Valentine double-sided paper and it's very beautiful and I'm not sure where I got it and it's been a couple of years so I mean I'm not even sure if they still make it but it's beautiful and so that's what I used on this one and then 
this is my all-time favorite that I made and it's this it's the paper from the same paper line and I use the same border punch along the edges and this one has hearts on it that have some I don't know if you can see that some glitter and that already came on the paper pack and then I have a stamp here that I used from Martha Stewart Borders and I heat emboss that with the rich red embossing powder and then these uh, candies the little lollipop and then the wrapped candy is from Studio G it's from the Joann's dollar bin and then the sentiment as well you're sweet and on the candies I don't know if you can see that but I embossed it with clear embossing powder and then I went over it with Victorian velvet distress ink to make it look that pinky color which I'm just I'm in love with this box I think it's super cute and the pink bottom butter fingers this paper is from the paper company um, the color connect texture in pastel pink and I, I've had this paper for years and I'm running low I think I have maybe like three left so that's really sad because I mean it's just beautiful I made I made so many cards out of this pink but um, so this is the third one and then on this one I did just cut around I just fussy cut the stamps and then here I did around the border and then I used the, the pastel pink around there and then I used that the same color from the bottom of this one I went on the third layer and then on the sweet stamp this is just popped up on pop dots along with the little lollipop and little candy here so these are the three I've made so far and um, I hope my family likes them I'm sure they're gonna like what's in them um, but these are my more girly versions of um, my Valentine boxes um, if you have any questions or comments like I said before just um, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them as quick as I can um, and I just hope y'all have a really great week and uh, be safe out there. It's raining where I'm at, so I'm trying to stay inside with this wicked weather. So y'all be safe and um, take care and thanks so much and y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.